Sharpton today speaking out, writes a letter asking the NFL commissioner to reject Limbaugh's bid because he's been, uh, quote, divisive and anti-NFL on several occasions. Uh, do you agree Limbaugh should be blocked from owning a stake? Absolutely, as his statements indicated before. Uh, previously and I don't want to be unnecessarily inflammatory but I think he's a fool and I think the less said about him the better but now that he's on this platform I think his bid if he has the resources to own an NFL team should be rejected the NFL is a partnership between its players and the team owners and in a league that is overwhelmingly black should resoundly reject a man who has expressed such racist points of view about black people generally and black players specifically. There's no place for Rush Limbaugh in the National Football League. Steven, you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I mean, I really don't have any problem with him pursuing NFL ownership. I think that it's his right, but I think a lot of people misconstrue my statements in terms of what he has the right to do and what the NFL has the right to do and what the NFL Players Association has a right to do as well. He has a right to pursue ownership if he's got the pockets deep enough to pull it off. They have a right to reject him based on some of the incendiary comments that he's made. But, but what I've they? asked him, the, 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 question, the question that I've asked him repeatedly is this. Where has everybody been? All of a sudden, you don't want to let him own a football team but you want to let him have his own radio show reaching 20 million people saying these incendiary comments where's everybody been that's what i've been saying james what do you think about all this well uh, you know first of all most sports fans uh, let's, let's separate don't care who the owner is my saints are about four and oh we playing the giants this weekend they're five and oh if george w bush bought the saints this weekend and bill clinton bought the giants it wouldn't matter i would still be for the saints the problem is, is, and it's not Russia's ideology, as these guys point out, as you point out, some of his statements have just been very, very unsettling to everybody, and particularly to African Americans. They also spoke with some nostalgia about slavery, which is, you know, <laughs> not, not even going to try to go there. And it, over 60% of the labor force in NFL, that's a fancy word for the football players, are African Americans. And I'm not sure that the owners uh, want, want, want to have this kind of controversy. I, let me tell you this, as somebody who has a sports radio show, I mean, this is, this is good. This, you know, we fill up a lot of hot air on the air with this kind of stuff, but that's a, a, a tough question that the owners got to ask themselves. Do, do they, want to, do, they want to go in this kind of controversy with, with their players? And that, that's something I don't have the answer to. Stephen, let me go back to, to something you said about, you know, where have they been up until now? And, and listen to this. So, you know, some, some of the NFL players uh, already protesting, saying they wouldn't play for him, no matter how much money that he Lying. offered. I, I know. On his show today, Limbaugh uh, responded. Listen to what he said. One of the things that is going around out there is that black NFL players will boycott playing the game if I am an owner in the league, which, of course, is patently absurd, but this is, is being reported, and it's, it's, uh, it's designed to affect the outcome of all of this. So to your earlier point, I mean, do you really think that the players would, would turn him down, would accept Absolutely less money not. from another team? I, I, I think a few of the more key ones that have options may make the choice to do so. But by and large, most NFL players are not going to do that. They look, their color is about green. The person that has the steepest check is the one that they're going to sign with. It's just no mistake in that. And in the interest of uh, full disclosure, I'm somebody that has listened to Rush Limbaugh over the past year. I was not aware of a lot of the comments that I read up about that he, that I ultimately read up about that he's actually said I find them very very offensive but I'm here to tell you those same players that find it just as offensive as I find it if they have an opportunity to play for him because he offers them more money than one of the other 31 owners in the NFL they will most certainly do it and anybody who says otherwise is either a liar or a fool I think it Go, go I, ahead, I think, David, but, but to address this point about whether or not the players even have any leverage, really, or, or as to, you know, to James's point uh, earlier, would the owners actually decide, you know, if, if this turned into something like, hey, we don't want to deal with this. Who needs a controversy? I, I think it's a mistake to limit the reaction to, to Rush to black NFL players. If the commissioner was concerned about the interests of animal lovers in the Michael Vick case, he most assuredly should be concerned about the reaction of NFL fans, NFL players, black and white, to Rush Limbaugh. It's a mistake to think that only black players find him offensive. I'm certain that there are black 
and white players and black and white fans that find Rush Limbaugh to be an offensive racist. I, who He's fine in his box talking into a microphone, but once he comes into the NFL, they should, they should tell him. You're but not I, I, I think you're right. Plenty of people may, may believe, you know, find his remarks offensive, black or white, James, to this point. But is it even about that? Or is it to what Stephen said? Is it well, more about money? Is it more about fans not caring who owns the team, uh, as you said you know, earlier? You know, uh, First of all, some players, active players, have said they wouldn't play for him. It's a very eloquent uh, statement by uh, the guy from the Giants. I'm sorry, the name escaped me. I mean, a Matthew very, very, very eloquent statement. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this guy, my guess is, is he's not going to the highest bidder. That's just my guess based on his statement. I thought it was pretty eloquent. But, but again, most NFL owners are, are, are Republicans. That doesn't matter to the average fan. But what, what's happened is Russ said, has said some things that are going to upset a whole lot of people. And I don't know if the, the, and, and the NFL owners is a lot, and I think the, the, our other guests will back me up on this, are a conservative lot, not just conservative in their politics, is they got a lot of money invested in this. And, and I, I don't know if they're going to want to, if they're going to, they might want this kind of controversy. Boy, they'll get it if they do, and, and we'll talk about it forever. They don't it, want it. It's, 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 no, it's, the, the, commissioner has said, the commissioner has said that there's a standard, a higher standard, to which NFL players will be held because of their participation in right. the NFL. Rather than the the same standard should apply to prospective owners, All and right. Rush Limbaugh doesn't meet that standard.